Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Woo. <laughs> Gracias, Kelly. Gracias, Olguita. Ahí estamos juntos, juntos todos los días. So, five minutes, cinco minutos. Prepárense. Tomen su pre-workouts, fat burners, treatment. Right, so I'm putting on my hemp cream para el dolor, for the pain. I am taking care of myself. All right, because working out takes a toll, especially when, when you train hard. You know, you tend to have little, little kinks here and there. So make sure that you're taking care of your body, putting on whatever cream you need to put. Taking your pre-workout, you're taking your supplements, your mushroom supplements for maximum health, immunity. All right. I took my fat burner. I took my multivitamin. I gotta take this. All right. I gotta take this supplement right here. Mm. I got my aminos. I got everything I need. All right. So now I got to put on my strap. I got my weights. So today, right? If you have, if you have a stool, chair, something that's sturdy, una silla, una, una cajita para, pero que esté fija, que no, no sea muy, muy frágil. Uh, we need a band. If you have a loop band that goes around the ankles, have a loop band. Una de las bandas que van en, la, en, la, en los tobillos, si tienen uno, bien, si no, no. Um, and dumbbells. That's all you need today. Right? Very simple. It's interesting workouts. It's going to be an interesting workout, so we'll see how that goes. Maria Isabel. Good morning. Good morning. You got five minutes to get yourself ready. Five minutes to get your... Fat burners, pre-workouts, everything. If you want to start warming up a little bit, stretching out. Start warming up, stretching out. Make sure you guys are hitting the like button. So the like button is the little at the bottom where you subscribe. I'm not sure if you can see it on this screen. But if you go out, out of the screen, there's like a little, a little thumb. Not on the chat. On the bottom, there's a little uh, thumbs up that you click on. It's like a like button. Like on Facebook, where you click like, right? Same thing on Instagram. Como en Facebook, cuando ponen el like en Facebook, eh, abajo en el screen hay un, un, un thumbs up. Apreten ese thumbs up. So press that, 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 uh, that like button, right? Early. The earlier, the better. The earlier, the better. We can do that so you guys don't forget. I am sore from yesterday. Yesterday was rough, man, and I haven't even warmed up yet. So it's like I haven't even warmed up, but I know I'm gonna be hurting. I just know it. So it's a fact that I'm that I'm gonna be in pain. Um, let's get these uh, the watches going. Let me get my phone. All right. So I think we're ready. All right. Let me get this going. So I gotta put on the. The whoop, so I can tell you guys what kind of strain we're going to experience today. All right, so, so usually functional fitness starts around 8.9, right? And uh, I think yesterday was 12.8, 12.7 strain, which is pretty high. It's pretty hard. Um, and that was intense yesterday. It was like an hour and a half. That was a a crazy, crazy. I think that was one of the most calories I've ever burnt. I know somebody burned a lot of calories. It was uh, Marisol burnt her PR in calories burnt. So I don't think we're going to go that crazy today because yesterday yesterday was, was just bad. So today is going to be like an, an easier day, I hope. I hope. It all depends on the workout. So let's get this clock going. Let's get it, let's get it started. So three, two, one. All right, here we go. Marisol, welcome. Buenos dias. 
All right. So get my Fitbit going. Woo, I just felt my booty. I just felt that booty. It is on fire. We're going to warm up really good today. Really good. All right. So here we go. I got my water bottle. Woo. All right. <laughs> a mí también, a mí también. I am hurting everywhere, all right? So let's warm up, all right? Como les dije, today, all right? A box, una caja, right? So a chair, una silla, something, right? Um, the loop bands and your dumbbells, okay? Medium, medium to medium, medium weight, okay? So the warm up is gonna be light. The workout is gonna be medium, all right? So we'll go from there. You figure that out as you go. Let's start with arm circles. Let's just start breaking the, that lactic acid up. Let's just start breaking it all up. Especially if you did yesterday's workout, I know you're hurting. I know your body's sore. My shoulders are sore, like from those Jenga lunges, right? My shoulders are on fire. So just nice and easy, get those shoulders going. Remember to retract shoulders back and down. So if you notice my shoulders, when I'm doing the arm circles, I'm down and I'm doing my circles, right? Keeping my shoulder in place, all right? Make them a little bigger, maybe a little bit faster. It all depends how, how healthy your shoulders are, right? But if you have any pain, bring it down. Bring the range of motion down, all right? Open up your, your fingers if you have to, right? So go thumbs your hands, right? Bring them up like this as much as you can. Stretch out those hip flex, those those uh, digi flexors. Actually, those are like the extensors. No, those are yeah, yeah, extensors. And shake it off, shake it off. Let's go backwards. So we're gonna we're gonna point down now. So we're gonna go um, uh, flexors, and we're gonna do circles while you're pointing the fingers down. All right, little by little, you start making them bigger. Man, my I see, I can, I can feel my shoulders burning now. Every, if you want to blast your own music, blast your own music. <sighs> bigger. You should be playing something that that inspires you, something something hardcore, you know, some rock or slow, like oldies, whatever, whatever gets you going through this workout. Put on that music and shake it off. Woo! Right, let's go over and under, just here, right here, right? Nice and easy. We gotta get warmed up today, really good. Especially with the shoulders and the back. Very fragile area, right? A lot of injuries there for people. Rotator cuff injuries, shoulder blade injuries, back injuries. Trap over overloading, overcompensations on the on the traps. That's a huge problem right there, people. Right, a lot of a lot of uh, hunching and shake it off. Let's go. Um, let's start marching up and down, warming up the hip flexors. Remember to crunch your abs as you're marching. Move your arms, opposite arm, opposite foot, right, opposite knee. So. You should be in this position right here. Get that knee as high as you can to really get that, get that burn. Just keep going, right? Nice and high. The higher you can get it, the better. Try not to just try not to be lazy and just do this, right? Try to really get that knee up. I mean, if you can only get up to here, that's fine. But try to really lift. A lot of times, it's weakness in those hip flexors that prevent you from coming up high, all right? And shake it off. We're gonna do the butt kicks. Remember, the butt kick, I'm, I'm slinging my heel into my, my, my hamstring, into my butt, so it has to be a strong squeeze, right? It can't, it can't be just 
just this. Even there, I feel it, but it can't just be that. You have to really pick it up, right? You can hear the right on the kick. So make sure you're getting a nice, nice kick and start contracting those hamstrings and getting them warmed up. Ready? Let's go. Just kick right here and squeeze, squeeze, man. I feel it. I mean, it's so if you guys ever done, gone to the gym and done the uh, the leg the leg curls, right? The hamstring curls where you where you lay down, you hold on to something, and then you pull your legs into your butt. That's the same thing. You want to squeeze, right? You want to squeeze that hamstring. I don't recommend you use that machine unless you have injuries, but like if you have weakness, if you're weakness and you have to, okay. But for the most part, no point. That, those machines are pointless. All right. And shake it off. Let's go Frankensteins. So opposite arm, opposite hand, opposite toe. You're gonna touch in a circle, in a circular banner, right? Try to get as high as you can. Again, if you can only get this high, that's fine, but really work to raising as high as possible without leaning forward, without, right, without doing this. Stay high, right? See how I'm staying neutral. My body's staying straight, right? I'm not leaning back and I'm not leaning forward. I'm just reaching, okay, without, without leaning over. Let's go. Just start doing those big circles. Open up your arms, big circles. Don't work, don't, it's not about speed. It's about range of motion, right? What kind of range, what kind of range of motion can you create? Big circles. Right? Big circles. Keep going. Big kicks. And shake it off. Man, I feel right here. <laughs> My glutes are on fire, on fire. Let's go side to side. Little by little, start small. You're going to feel the stretch right in the inner thighs and the groin. Start small. Stretch out those legs, right? Same thing, technique, right? A lot of people have a hard time doing a side lunge, right? They have severe weakness on the glute medius, severe weakness on the inner thighs, but it's all technique. So notice, here we go, here we go again. I'm not coming forward, right? My hip hinges and I go to the side. So my butt is going back, my weight's on the middle of my foot, but it's not going too far. It's not going too far this way. Because if, if you start going this way, you start losing integrity and that's when you hurt your knees. So keep your foot flat, try to stay above the weight, going straight to the middle of your foot, and little by little, you start going down. Good technique, you drive those hips back, right? And keep them back. So you notice how I stay back, I don't lean forward. My shoulders, my chest comes forward, but my hips go back, it's a seesaw, right? So weight goes forward, top goes forward, back goes, goes back, right? So you're in a seesaw position, little by little, Start getting lower and lower. Technique. You're gonna notice that this, you just working on this on your mind and breathing. When you do it with weights, it gets easier. As you get more warmed up, start lifting your toes right here. Nice and deep. Raise those, raise the toe, getting those hamstrings, right? Nice and deep and breathe, a lot of oxygen, a lot of oxygen. Remember, breathe and out, breathe in and out. That's important when you're lifting, right? You're gonna have better endurance and a better workout. Shake it off, shake it off. Okay, next, we have quick, uh, we have a high knees. So now remember, the, at the beginning we did the marching, Right now we're gonna go for speed, right? As fast as you can, getting those knees up. If you can't, march. Try to stay on the balls of your feet, but march really fast, right? But if you can 
for speed, go for speed. We're gonna go at 20 count. Just go on my count. All right, ready? Move those arms. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All right, shake it up, shake it up. Next, we're gonna do the butt kicks. Same thing for speed. If you can't go, just march as fast as you can, right? But if you can really kick your butt for speed, kick your butt for speed. Ready? And let's go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Very nice. Okay. We're going to be doing a little bit of oblique work today. So let's warm up those obliques. So now, instead of just Frankenstein and, and touching cross, we're gonna go bring the elbow, right? We're gonna pop it, hit the elbow to the opposite knee, right? Just twist those hips, twist those hips, right? We got, we got 20 count, ready? We got one, one, two, two, so a double count. Let's go, across, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, now we're gonna go, we're gonna go across, we're gonna punch across, all right? Keep the elbows up and high. So across. Notice how I'm 90 degrees. I'm not going down. I'm not going too up. Just across the body. All right? Across the body, you're gonna feel it right here and on your obliques. Side to side. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. That's good. Ten is good. All right. Let's go some jumping jacks. 20 jumping jacks. Let's get the heart rate up. Ready? Let's go. One, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 14, 16, 18, 20. Woo! All right. Shake it up. Shake it up. Here we go. So that's good enough for the warm up. Now we're gonna get into the exercises. Uh, so remember, so now rule of thumb is we always do a ladder. I call it the up down ladder. So the up down ladder means that we got four exercises, five exercises, whatever, X amount of exercises. We're gonna go from exercise one to two to three, all the way to the last one. So today let's say we got four exercises. We get to exercise four. We go back to three, we go back to two, we go back to one, right? On the warm up round, we just do that once. We go to the next ladder, we do that once. Then we come back to the first ladder, but now we're gonna do a double round. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. We do one, we go back again. Two, three, four, three, two, one. So that'll be the second round. The second round, I want you to grab, be a little bit more aggressive with the weight that you use, depending on your goals. If you wanna put on muscle, grab a weight that you're gonna do eight to 10 reps and you're gonna max out. If you're going more uh, endurance, pick a light weight, keep it the same, but just increase your intensity. Maybe get an extra two reps, extra three reps, have a little bit less, less break whenever I switch between, between exercises. So it's up to you what kind of program you do, but there's no right and wrong, right? If, you, if, it's, if you're brand new and your cardio is not great, just try to keep up, take rest, Take breaks when you need them, skip an exercise. Just do your best. At the end of the day, you're gonna burn over 400 calories, depending how much you weigh. You're gonna burn for more than 400. If you weigh 175 like I do, you're gonna burn six, 700 calories, for, without a doubt, even if you're just going through the motions. So just do your best, okay? So here we go. If you have a band, if you have a band, we're gonna put the band on the ankles, okay? And what we're doing is, we're doing an in and out jump with a sprawl, right? Um, sorry, we're doing an in, in and out jump 
with an 180 degree, 180 degree jump. So if you have a mat, right, so you have your mat, you're gonna be in the middle of the mat, you're gonna jump out, jump in, and twist, right? Turn, big turn. Jump out, jump in, twist. Jump out, jump in, twist. We are gonna do 20 of those jumps, all right? So if you don't have a band, do exactly how I did it right now, without the band. But if you have the band, you're gonna stretch that band in and out. You're gonna feel it a lot more on your side, on your glute medius, okay? Then we're gonna do a renegade row, right? A renegade row, okay? To a swing switch. So basically you need one dumbbell. Sorry, you need one dumbbell. If you have a kettlebell, one kettlebell. And what we're doing is, so we're gonna, we're gonna come down, right? Into a high plank, we're gonna do a push up, all right? We're gonna row. Come back up, swing and switch, high plank. Sorry, we're gonna, we're gonna push up first, then we row. All right, always push up first, then we row, and we do the switch, right? The flip. Remember, when we flip a kettlebell, your thumb is always facing up, right? Always facing up, and you always switch at the top. Because think about it, if I throw the weight up, it's gonna reach a peak, and then it's gonna come back down, right, due to gravity. At that peak is where it's lightest. That's where you wanna switch hands. Don't switch hands on the way down at the bottom. You're gonna drop it, you're gonna hurt your back, because all the weight is going down. So the idea is, grab it and switch it, right, at the top, at the peak height, which is right about here, right? So, boom, I switch, always at the top, okay? So we're gonna do 10 of those. So, high plank, high plank, push up, row, come back up, switch, switch hands, right, on this with the swing. Then, we're gonna have a broad jump, right? And then reverse lunges. So, this is what it's gonna look like, right? So broad jumps, you're gonna be on one end, one end of your mat, right? You're gonna, if you wanna swing a little bit back so you can get a little bit of a, a nice a nice jump forward, but kind of like a side swing, you can, right? So jump, right? You're gonna jump and then you go, then you're gonna stand up straight and you're gonna do a reverse lunge, hammer curl. Bum, bum, you're gonna turn around, all right? Broad jump. Broad jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, turn around, all right? Broad jump, reverse lunge, all right? Reverse lunge, and we're gonna keep doing that. We're gonna do that 10 times, 10 times. And then we have a power sit-up. So a power sit-up, this is where we need your box or chair, right? This is where you need the box or chair. So my feet are gonna be up on the box, right? I'm gonna do a hip bridge, okay? So I'm gonna do a hip bridge, so I'm gonna raise my hips, and then I'm gonna go into the, so when I say up into the sit-up, you're gonna bring the hip down and simultaneously, smoothly, right? Very, very smooth, right? Without, without hitting your back onto the floor. It's like smooth, you're gonna go into a sit-up. You're gonna hold it, one, two, Come back down, one, two. Come back up, one, two. Come back down, one, two. Make sure you adjust whenever you need to adjust, but we are gonna do 15 repetitions of two seconds at the top, two seconds at the bottom, all right? So, and then we're gonna work our way back, all right? So, if everybody's, everybody's good to go, everybody's good to go, let's get, let's get this going. All right, so get some, get some, get something to drink real fast, and let's go. All right, starting with the bands. So if you have a band, put it on your ankles. If you don't have one, that's fine. Just follow along, okay? Without the bands, perfectly fine. If you need to get tools, go to my website, right? I always put the link in the description at the end of the after we finish hosting, right? Um, I have a all the other equipment that you need. It's gonna be on my website, okay? So, here we go. We got 20 in and outs, 
in and out. So straddle your mat right in the middle. Woo, ready? And let's go. Jump out, jump in, turn. One, go. jump. Two, out, in, jump. Three, out, in, four, out, in, five, out, in, six, out, in, seven, out, in, eight, out, in, nine. Always I always jump right or left. So I go right, now I go left. Now I go right, now I go left. Go right, 14, left, 15, right, 16, left, right, 17, left, 18, right, 19, left, 20, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, renegade road and switch. So, high plank, high plank, push up, row, get up and switch. We'll go slow, all right, so we can get the hang of it, all right? So let's go, high plank, push up, if you can, all right? If you gotta go to your knees, go to your knees, I don't mind. Row, come up and switch. High plank, push up. Row, sorry, row, I forget the row, I'm gonna do it. Row and switch. High plank, push up, row and switch. That's three. High plank, push up, row, that's four. Switch. High plank, push up, row, switch. That's five. High plank, push up, row, switch. That's six. High plank, push up, row. That's seven. High plank, push up, row. That's eight. Two more. High plank, push up, row. That's nine, one more. Keep your shoulders square. Push up, row, that's 10. Woo, all right. Remember, keep your shoulders square. Do not turn to the side when you row. Feet together is harder. Feet apart is easier. I would say keep your feet together when you're going light. Keep your feet apart, like wider apart when you're going heavy, all right? Next. Broad jump to hammer curls. All right, so it's a broad jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. So it's basically two hammer curls per, per jump. We're doing 10 of these. Ready, and broad jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That's one. Broad jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That's two. Broad jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, that's three. Broad jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, that's four. Broad jump, reverse lunge, that's five. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, that's six. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, that's seven. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, that's eight. Two more, jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, one more. Jump, that's 10. All right, weight on the side. We have the power, power sit up. So get on your back, get that mat. Feet on top of your box or chair, whatever it is. Keep your hands here. I mean, if you have to go back to get a little momentum, I'm okay with that. But the less you rely on it, the better. I would rather you focus on using your core 
right? And the momentum from the hip down motion to get the rep, all right? So we're starting with a hip bridge, ready? And so hip bridge, one, two, come up. One, two, hip bridge, one, two, up, one, two, that's two. One, two, one, two, that's three. One, two, one, two, that's four. One, two, one, two, that's five. One, two, one, two, that's six. One, two, one, two, that's seven. One, two, one, two, that's eight. One, two, one, two, that's nine. One, two, one, two, that's ten. Hip up, one, two, up, one, two, eleven. One, two, one, two, that's twelve. One, two, one, two, thirteen. One, two, one, fourteen. Last one. One, two, one, two. Awesome. Woo! All right. Back to the broad jump. Back to the broad jump. Ready? And jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. That's one. Turn around. Broad jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. That's two. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. That's three. Turn around. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. That's four. Turn around. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. That's five. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. That's six. We got four more. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Seven. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. If you can't jump, right? That's eight. If you can't jump, just stay in place and do these and do the step back. Reverse lunge. Ready? Jump. And let's go two more. Let's go two more because I lost count. So we're doing two extra. Well, it's okay. Two extra. Let's go. One. One. Last one. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. All right. Beautiful. If you can't jump, right, you can just do hammer curls right here. Maybe you want to do a, a squat. Hammer curls. All right. You can also do like like a step back, so you can do like a squat, all right? Step back, step back. Squat, step back, step back, right? If you can't jump forward, perfectly fine. All right, now we got Renegade Rose. Renegade Rose. Ready, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from the top with the dumbbell at the top, I don't care. I'll hold it up top, all right. Let's go, high plank, push up, Row and switch. That's one. High plank, push up, row, come up. That's two. High plank, push up, row, that's three. High plank, push up, row, that's four. High plank, Push up, row, that's five. High plank, push up, row, that's six. Switch, high plank, push up, row, that's seven. Switch, high plank, push up, row, that's eight. Switch. High plank, push up, row, that's nine, one more. Switch, high plank, 
Push up, row, and that's 10. Beautiful, okay. Last but not least, we have the bands in and out. I'm sweating already like crazy. So you know it's gonna be a good day. You know it's gonna be a good day. All right, here we go. So remember, I'm jumping left, right, left, right. So, and I keep doing that. I don't, I don't do left, 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 right, 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 no. Always switching directions, all right? Let's go. In, out, and in, switch. Out, in, two. Out, in, three. Out, in, four. Out, in, five. If you can't jump, right, you're gonna go out, in, shuffle. Out, in, shuffle, all right? So that's six, for those of us who are doing it right. That's six. Out, in, seven. Out, in, eight. Out, in, nine. Out, in, 10. Let's go. In, 11. Out, in, 12. Out, in, 13. Out, in, 14. Out, in, 15. Out, in, 16. Out, in, 17. Make sure your knees get pushed out. 18. Out, in, 19. One more. 20. Awesome job, guys. So, when you're doing the out and in, all right? So, when I go out, I'm trying to keep my knees. I'm trying to push my knees out. I don't want to be like this. That is terrible, all right? And you don't want to put the band up top because if you already have this issue and you're putting the band up top, you're just making it worse. You can't open. You have to learn to turn out, all right? Out, I gotta use my glutes, use my, my glute medius to turn the knee out and my feet gotta be grabbing the floor so they don't move with my feet. So I shouldn't have, you see my feet? They shouldn't, when I turn my knees, they shouldn't come out. They come in, they, they're here facing forward. I grab the floor and when I turn, they stay in the exact same spot. They don't turn out, they stay in the same spot. Most of you are gonna have a hard time with that. That's okay practice. So that was the end of ladder number one. Grab some water. You can see I'm already sweating. If I'm sweating on the warm-up, it means we're going to burn a lot of calories today. That's what it means. Usually if I'm like semi-dry on the warm-up, even if I'm doing a lightweight, that means that's going to be an okay workout, 60 minutes. It ain't going to be nothing crazy. But when I'm sweating like this, just for the warm-up with a lightweight, yeah, it's gonna be good. So my intro workout, right? Mushrooms, potassium, amino acids, and apple cider vinegar. Woo, perfect combination. All right. Woo. I got so many little messages here. All right, so. I got all these emails and they keep pop popping up. <laughs> Marisol, las piernas. Mine's too. Las mías están asesinadas. Asesinadas. All right, guys. So, here we go. Ladder number two. All right, ladder number two. We got band, band up jacks and plank jacks. So, we're going to go back to the bands. Again, if you have one, great. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. So, this is what we're doing. We're doing a, a jumping jack, right? So, we're going to go. Jumping jack, plant jack, all right? Jumping jack, plant jack, all right? If you can do that, great. If you, have, if you don't have a band, still do the same exercise, right? Jumping jack, plant jack. It's just gonna be a little bit easier, right? Because you're not using the bands for the glutes and the, and the, and the adductors, right? But, um, again, bands around the ankles, okay? Band around the ankles and if you have a hard time, let's say jumping back, you can, right? We can go back, you can go back to like a, like a little bit of a step, right? Smaller, right? Just slow it down, right? Slow it down. You can even use your box. So if you have a box, right? You can do the jumping jack, right? Let's say you can go side to side, right? And you can get on the box. 
and do the plank jack, right? So it'll like this. So yeah, if you if you can't jump, right, you're gonna go side, side, back, jump, come back in, side, side, all right. If you don't want to move your hands, side, side, all right. Choose what works for you, okay? But we're for the, the prescription, right? The, 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 the workout is jumping jack, plank jack. We're gonna do 10 of those. Then we're gonna do back flies. So back flies, the idea is to not row, right? Don't row and don't pull, right? So let me give you the differences, right? This is a row. When I bring my elbows up, and I have this angle, that's a row, okay? It's also a pull, right? I'm pulling, I'm pulling up, I'm rowing up. A back fly, a back fly, you maintain the same angle. So I'm gonna start with my hands, right in a position. My, my thumbs are gonna be slightly to the outside, why? Because by going to the outside, my shoulder blade, I can retract. My shoulder, super important, retract that shoulder blade. If your thumbs are facing in, you're gonna go into the traps, right? And that's where people develop frozen shoulder. When people can't go up or your shoulder hurts and you get impingement, it's because your traps are super overactive from bad technique. So thumb out, it'll open up your chest and it'll open up your back so you can get a better contraction on your back. So a back fly, you're gonna bend your elbows slightly, slight bend, and you're gonna maintain that angle. It does not change. And then I, I do a little bit of momentum and I open up. But the angle, my hands stay the same. I never roll, I don't bring them in. They stay exactly the same, all right? I stick my chest out and basically it's almost like I'm trying to throw the dumbbells behind me. So I, like, if I grab them and I just wanna throw it behind me, that's the contraction. That's what you're trying to do, right? Do not roll. If you can't do a back fly for whatever reason, I re and let's say you're, 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 you're shrugging all the time, I would rather you do a row, okay? If, 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 you can't, if you can't grasp the idea of a back fly, do a row, keep it simple, okay? It's up to you. So we're gonna do 15 flies. Immediately, we're gonna go to the easy curls, low hold. So you're gonna grab both of your dumbbells and you're gonna connect them, right? You're gonna connect them on the inside you're gonna keep your arms, your palms facing forward. This is called supination. Arms are facing forward, right? And up. I'm gonna get nice and low, and I'm gonna put my elbows in between my thighs, right? So I'm gonna open up my thighs, and I'm gonna use them as leverage. So my elbows are pushing out, and they're keeping me balanced by counter counterbalancing my feet, right? That they're, they're both pushing on each other. My feet are not really pushing, but they're, they're, they have some tightness, so they're naturally coming in. My elbows are natural, they're, they're, I'm forcing them to push out so they're staying in place. And then from here, we're gonna curl. Up, down, up, down, all right? If this is too hard for you, then stay a little bit low, all right? If still that's too hard for you, do single arm curls, right? Or you can do double arm curls. I don't care. I prefer, ideally, eventually, do the one that I top, right? So that's called the dumbbell easy curls. And then we have the oblique V-ups. So oblique V-ups, right? We're starting from a completely laying down position. We're gonna come all the way up into a V. So my feet come up, my hands come up, right? But I'm gonna go across with one arm, right? Not one of my elbows, right? It's gonna be on the floor. So let me go a little bit more here. So it's gonna be on the floor, kind of like for, for a little bit of a little bit of help, right? And so I can get that core, I can twist, and I can reach across. Now I'm gonna go the other side, right? So we're doing that, that video. Right, so across, 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 across. We are gonna do 20 of those, 20 V-ups, okay, obliques with the twist, oblique V-ups. And that's it, that is ladder number two. All right, so grab your bands. We are starting with the jumping jack to the plank jack. 
Woo, here we go. All right, everybody ready? We are doing 10. So those the first two reps count as one, all right? It's not one, two, it's one, one, two, two, three, three. All right, let's go. Jumping jacks, and let's go. Jumping jack, flat jack. Come back up, one. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's two. Jumping jack, jump jack. That's three, flat jack. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's four. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's five. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's six. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's seven. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's eight. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's nine. Jumping jack, flat jack. That's ten. Woo! All right. Back flies. We got 15. I'm going to go light, right, because I want to focus on technique. I want to focus on the squeeze, that mind-to-muscle connection, okay? Thumbs, right, dumbbells facing out a little bit. They should, not be, they should not be towards the inside, right? They should not be like this. They should be out, okay, as you're doing the flies. Ready? We got 15. Stay low. Keep this angle right here, 45-degree angle. Do not come up. As you lift, stay down, keep the angle, just stick out the chest. Bring them together, explode. Bring them together, explode, all right? We're gonna go one rep at a time, don't rush it. I know this, there's people at the gym, right? Or you see the videos and they're like, all right, non-stop. Let's stop and get the technique right, okay? We're gonna pause a little bit. You actually get more work, right? Because you gotta stabilize for longer. Here we go. And Fly, let's go. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, up, eleven, up, twelve, up, thirteen. 14, up, 15, outstanding. Woo, that's a lot of activation right there. Now we're going into, you see my breath, I am out of breath, and that was with light weights. We got the easy curls, so right here, connect, connect the dumbbells, get nice and low if you can, elbows on the inside, let's start curling. Booty a little bit up, right, so stay up, stay a little high. Let's go, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, ten reps. More than enough. Okay. Next, oblique V ups. Oblique V ups. We got twenty of these. Woo! So full extension, right? Into the V up and oblique, right? And, and twist. Let's go. Up. One. Up. If you can only crunch, right? Up. If you want to crunch, crunch. Up. That's perfectly fine, right? Up. Up. That's six. But if you V up in, V up. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah. Ah. Woo. All right. Back to the easy curls. Back to the easy curls. Here we go. Lock them together. Nice and low. Ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come up. We got flies. Flies. We got 15. 
Slow, controlled. Do not stand up. Keep the same angle on your arms. Open up the chest. Open up your hands to a little bit to the outside, right? Every time you pull, go to the outside a little bit. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, up, eleven, up, twelve, up, thirteen, up, fourteen, up, fifteen. Woo! All right, grab your band. Jumping jack to plank jack. Here we go. Here we go. And jumping jack, plank jack. That's one. Jumping jack, plank jack. That's two. Jumping jack, plank jack. That's three. Jumping jack. Plank jack, that's four. Jumping jack, plank jack, that's five. Jumping jack, plank jack, that's six. Jumping jack, plank jack, that's seven. Jumping jack, plank jack, that's eight. Jumping jack, plank jack, that's nine. Jumping jack, Plank jack. I'm gonna do one more, but I think I skipped one. Jumping jack. Plank jack. Woo! That right there is ladder number two. We are done with that one. Oh, breathe. So if you're still with me, give me a thumbs up on the chat. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know you're still alive. Let me know you're hydrating and you're going to make it through the entire workout. Uh, those of you who, did, who worked out with me on Friday, I know you're hurting. Uh, that leg workout was, was ridiculous. Woo! There we go, Marisol, Maria, Kelly. Great job. Beautiful. All right, so strategy. Strategy, round two, strategy. Now, the bands, it is what it is, right? I'm gonna use the purple band. So if you buy bands, uh, I get them from Power Systems, but by color, the purple, I use the purple for intermediate people, anybody, doesn't really matter. Uh, I call it the intermediate band. The blue band is the easy band, right? So that's the beginner band. The gray band is the strength band. That's the one that, you, you got to have strong lift. You got to have great technique to be using it. So if you can't, like I showed you guys, if you can't open up your thighs on a squat, you shouldn't be using the purple or the, or the, or the gray. You should be using the blue band until you learn to activate your, your glutes and your glute medius, right? So activation is a big problem. So the Renegade Rose to switch, I'm going to go. It's only 10 reps. It's only 10 reps. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to go 35s, 35 pound dumbbells for that one. All right. Then for the broad jump hammer curls, I'm going to keep it at 15. I can go way heavier. I can probably use the 35s. I might, even, I might be able to use 50s, but I have epicondylitis right now that I'm fighting. So safety first. Okay. Safety first. Don't lift. Don't ego lift. All right. Lift smart. You got to heal. You got to get stronger. If you have pain, it's because you have a compensation. You have a problem. Get rid of the problem before you try to, before you try to get stronger because you're actually going to work backwards. You're actually going to get weaker. You're going to get injured, and you're going to be out for longer. So play it safe. So uh, hammer curls and then the power sit-ups as usual. So 15s for the hammer curls, 35s for those uh, – Renegade rows, right? Those those switching renegade rows. Here we go. So 35s. I should go heavier. So 
Remember, this is a double round. It is a double round. On the way back, on the second round, if I feel that I can do 52s, I'm gonna do 52s for the rows, all right? So if you feel you can go harder, go harder. But you gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta make sure that you're not opening up, you're keeping your core brace, your core is tight. You gotta make sure everything is, is correct. Don't just go heavy for the, for the sake of just going heavy, right? It has to be great technique, all right? All right, here we go. Grab your bands, put it on your ankles. If you have one, we got the 180 degrees, all right? So in and out, in and out jumps, 180 degrees, 20, ready, and let's go. Out, twist, one, two, three, let's go. We're gonna pick up the speed, four, out, in, five, out, in, six, out in seven, out in eight, out in nine, ten, out in eleven, out in twelve, out in thirteen, out in fourteen, in fifteen, in sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. All right, so try to do your best. If you can keep up. Great. If you gotta slow it down, you gotta slow it down. Here we go. Remember, it's a plank, excuse me, high plank, push up, row. Ready? And high plank, push up, row. Switch. Swing and switch. That's one. High plank, row, push up, row, switch. That's two. High plank, push up, bro, switch. That's three. High plank, push up, bro, switch. That's four. I'm gonna go a little bit wider on my stance. Push up, bro, that's five. High plank, push up, bro, switch. That's six. High plank, push up, row, switch. That's seven. High plank, push up, switch. That's eight. High plank, push up, row. One more, nine. High plank, push up, row. And 10. All right. Jump. Reverse lunge, curl. Reverse lunge, curl, hammer curls. We got 10. Breathe. Here we go. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Switch it. Turn around. That's one. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Turn around, that's two. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That's three. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge and curl. That's four. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge and curl. That's five. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That's six. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That's seven. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. That's eight. Two more. Jump, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. One more. Jump, reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Woo! Power sit ups. Get on your back. Two second holds. We are starting with the hip bridge. Arms behind. Make adjust 
Remember, you're going to slide back naturally. You just, that's just going to happen. So every once in a while, scoop back in, right? And get yourself in this position where you're slightly bent the knees. I don't want you to be straight. Slightly bent at all times, all right? Arms up. Let's go. Up, one, two, sit up. One, two, one. One, two, one, two. That's two. One, two, one, two. That's three. One, two, one, two. I'm sitting up. Four. One, two, one, two. Five. One, two, one, two. Six. One, two, one, two. Seven. One, two, one, two. Eight. One, two, one, two. Nine. One, two, one, two. Two, ten, one, two, five more. Let's go. One, two, eleven. One, two, one, two, twelve. One, two, one, two, thirteen. I'm squeezing back in. Two more. One, sorry, up. One, two, one, two. Last one. One, two, one, two, fifteen. Woo! Back to the jumps. Back to the jumps. Dig deep. Here we go. Jump. Reverse lunge and curl. Reverse lunge and curl. One. Turn around. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. That's two. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Three. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Four. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Five. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Six. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Seven. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Eight. Two more. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. One more. Jump. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Ten. All right. Thirty fives. High plank. Push up and row. Ready, and high plank, sorry, push up, row, switch, whoop, high plank, push up, row, two, switch, high plank, push up, row, three, switch, high plank, Push up, row, four, switch, high plank, push up, row, I, made, I did it backwards, it's okay, five, high plank, push up, row, six, high plank, push up, row, seven, switch, High plank, push up, row, eight, switch, high plank, push up, row, last one, let's go. High plank, push up, row, and ten. All right. Back to the bands. Back to the band, in and out. Woo! For speed, 20 reps. Ready? In and out, 180 degree jump. Let's go. Out, in, jump. One, two, 
three, out, in, four, out, in, five, out, in, six, out, in, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! All right. Let me see how we're doing on time. Let me see how we're doing on time. We are at an hour. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to skip the second round for this one, right? Because it's a long, that takes this a long time. But we're going to do a double round for the second ladder, all right? So, Grab something to drink, grab something to drink. I wanna keep this workout at about a minute, about an hour 10 max. About an hour 10, hour 15. <clears throat> I don't wanna to go too far out today. All right. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start with the band jacks. Band jacks. Here we go. So we're doing jumping jack, plank jack, jumping jack, plank jack. And we're gonna do 10 of these, 10 of these, all right? Ready, and let's go. Jumping jack, plank jack, one. Jumping jack, plank jack, two. Jumping jack, plank jack. Three, jumping jack, plank jack. Four, jumping jack, plank jack. Five, jumping jack, plank jack. Six, jumping jack, plank jack. Seven, jumping jack, plank jack. Eight, jumping jack, plank jack. Nine, jumping jack, plank jack. Ten. Woo! All right. We're going to the back flies. Tell you what. Tell you what. Since we're only doing, so we're skipping, since we're skipping one whole ladder, we're going to add one exercise to this ladder. We're going to go to the row. All right. Grab, your, grab one dumbbell. We have the renegade row. So push up, so high plank, push up, row. We're gonna do 10, all right? So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna mix it up, man, all right? I'm not evil, I just like to mix it up, all right? Here we go. Breathe, ready, and let's go. High plank, push up, row, one, and switch. High plank, push up, row. That's two. Switch. High plank. Row. Push up. I messed up. That's fine. Three, as long as we got both exercises in. Jump back. Push up. Row. That's four. Switch. High plank. Push up. Row. That's five. Switch. High plank. Push up. Row, that's six. High plank, push up, row, that's seven. High plank, push up, row, that's eight. Switch, high plank, push up, row, that's nine, last one. High plank, Push up, row. That's ten. Woo! Now we have we have back flies. Fifteen back flies. Fifteen. Here we go. Wait together and stay in place. Do not move. Right, only the arms and throw them back or row. Let's go. One, 
Up, two, up, three. Nice little pause. Up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten. Five more. Let's go. Up, eleven, up, twelve. 13, two more, up, 14, one more, up, 15, woo, all right, easy curls, easy curls, we got 10 reps of the easy curls, wide stance, lock the dumbbells together, right, clamp them, nice and low, let's go, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Outstanding. Now we got oblique V-ups. Oblique V-ups. Here we go. We got 20. Remember, go across your body. Everybody back. Straight across. Here we go. Up. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten. Ten more, let's go. Up, eleven, up, twelve, up, thirteen. 14, up, 15, up, 16, up, 17, up, 18, two more, up, one more, up, 20, woo, outstanding, outstanding, ah, ah, hi, I'm out of breath, so are you, let's keep going, curls, lock them up, Together, nice and low in between the thighs, and let's go. Ten reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Outstanding. All right. So back flies. We're going back to the back flies. Woo! Here we go. We got fifteen back flies. Fifteen. Weights together. Chest up, let's go. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, five more, up, eleven, up, 12, come on, up, 13, two more, one more, beautiful, Woo. we are at hour eight, an hour eight, so this is it, we have the Renegade Rose, we have the Jacks, and we are done, the Jacks and we are done, all right, well, done with this workout. So let's go, ready, and high plank, push up, row, one, and switch. High plank, push up, row, that's two, switch. High plank, push up, row, that's three, switch. High plank, push up, row. That's four. Switch. High plank. Push up. Row. That's five. Switch. High plank. Push up. Row. That's six. Switch. High plank. Push up. Row. That's seven. Switch. High plank. 
Push up. That's eight. High plank. Push up. Row. One more. High plank. Push up. Row. That's ten. And last but not least, we have the band jacks. Last but not least, we have the band jacks. We got the, the formula is 10, right? That's, the, that's what it says on the board. It says 10. Oh, you can't see the board. But yeah, it's 10. But we're going 15. It's the last one, right? And we skipped two whole sections. So it is what it is. We got 15. Ready. And jumping jack. Plant jack. One. Jumping jack. Plant jack. Two. Jumping jack, plank jack, three, jumping jack, plank jack, four, jumping jack, plank jack, five, jumping jack, plank jack, six, jumping jack, plank jack, seven, jumping jack, plank jack, eight, jumping jack, Plank jack, nine, jumping jack, plank jack, ten, jumping jack, plank jack, eleven, jumping jack, plank jack, twelve, jumping jack, plank jack, thirteen, last two, come on, one more, jumping jack, plank jack, Oh, all right, man. If you guys kept up and you're still here and you're still alive, woo, that was an hour, an hour 27, uh, sorry, an hour 11, one hour 11 minutes, 671 calories, and a 12.5 strain, which if you guys understand, right? It's based on the whoop measurement. So a 12.5 strain is, is like a moderate strain. So it's good enough to come back tomorrow. So you're not gonna be dead, right? But it's not strong enough to put you out for like a couple of days. So technically what I'm saying is you guys should be back here tomorrow for, for, uh, for a kettlebell workout, right? No excuses. Get your nutrition on point, get your, Get your uh, your supplementation on point, and let's uh, let's kill it. Um, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, right? No matter what your kid is, it's a pet, a doggy, cat. Um, happy Mother's Day to every all the women out there, all the moms. Thank you all for showing up. Way to kill it. So you had a great workout today. Go out and eat something good. Olguita, comete algo sabroso. All right, Maria. Marisol, comete algo sabroso. Kelly, come algo sabroso. Este fue mi regalo para ustedes. Happy Mother's Day to everyone. Josephine, great job. Ceci, way to kill it. Way to kill it. Uh, I, hope you, I, hope you did go, I hope you did good today, Josephine. I hope that leg, that ankle was good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go shower. And hopefully we got some good food coming in today. So I'll probably go for a walk, another four-mile walk later on today with the vest. And uh, thank you, everybody. Happy Mother's Day to your moms, too, right? To, to, to the grandmas and the great grandmas. Happy Mother's Day, Mother's Day to them. And a uh, big kiss, hugs. I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully, right? Don't get too drunk. <laughs> no beban mucho. So, para ver que nos vemos mañana. Adios, goodbye. Thank you, everyone. Abrazos a todos. Gracias, gracias, Marisol. Bye bye. Woo!